first day of spring. So since we are on Corona lockdown of social distancing, we are going to make raised beds. So to make these cost effective, we are using cedar fence pickets and they're like $3.51 per board at Lowe's and we have six of them to make one raised bed. We have our, we've already cut our dog ears off of the ends of the raised bed and we took one board or two boards and cut them in half to make the side pieces and we also have one two by four that we cut down into 10 inch sections so we can use them to brace our boards time to get at it yeah let's get started so i'm going to place my first two by four 10 inch piece down here and i'm going to lay these flush Make sure they're flush. And we are using two inch screws. These are regular wood screws. We don't have to pre-drill them. So we'll just get started. Okay, so we have our pieces already attached for our long sides. Now we need to add a smaller piece in the middle to keep the boards flush with one another. Our side boards to our long side board, short boards to long boards. <laughs> you just wanna make sure it's flush. You may need somebody to assist you to keep it squared. raised beds I had to add an extra bracing here on the side just because the boards sometimes they're not completely straight so with a little work they just kind of straighten it out so now we have to fill it with all of our soil look behind look behind Paul all of our soil the dirt <laughs> got some manure and some topsoil yeah mix it in okay we have them spaced out I did it to where it's at least two feet apart so I can be able to get the lawnmower in between each raised bed. I have my irrigation here with my soaker hose and I'm going to run it to each bed. Once you know everything's filled with dirt, I'll run the line across and then across this way. And I have the soaker hoses running in there. Tomatoes, peppers, eggplants. I'm ready. We are lining our raised beds with cardboard. You can either use landscape fabric or cardboard. Most people have cardboard on hand. They don't have landscape fabric. So, And just for the sake of ease, and I already have cardboard, I'm going to use cardboard to lay into my raised beds to suppress the weeds. And I don't have to do any cutting with this fabric. But I've already pre-cut one of my cardboard boxes and laid it out. And we'll just throw the soil and the compost on top. We bought nine bags of topsoil per bed, and we got four and a half bags of compost and manure per bed. And we're gonna spread it out, mix it in, and then add some peat moss and some potting mix to kind of finish out the mix. Looking good, looking good. Oh man, this is gonna be awesome. It's coming along. We got some compost manure in there and now we put we got topsoil to finish out and we're almost there and again this is a three by six uh bed and we added we're gonna add nine topsoil bags and four and a half bags of compost manure and some i probably like one cubic foot of um peat moss man great job yeah it's gonna add fertilizer lime epsom salt like stuff. We're ready to rock and roll. I'm playing with dirt. It's 
were made from. You gotta put your hands in it. This is what we were made from, dirt. So, yes. We're, we're all dirt. We're all dirt. Take a bath. Which, still which, dirty. Which you see on the edge of the bed of the bathtub. We're still, we're still dirty. We're so, all dirt. See those dirt rings. That's why it's good. It's good for your soul to be in, to, to touch dirt.